Scorpio, what's going on? It's your girl D with 8th House Energy here to bring you your Saturn Retrograde reading. I hope all is well with all the Scorpio Massive. I do want to thank you guys for all the love and support you've shown the channel over the years. Over the years. Listen to me. It's actually, it's actually my one year anniversary on YouTube. So let me rephrase that. I want to thank you for all the love and support you've shown me over the past year. You guys have been amazing. Um, and thank you so much for all the Scorpionic energy you bring. You know, I got a couple of placements of Scorpio. So, you know, you guys have always shown me love. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Um, if you need a personal reading, my information's in the box below. If you have a placement of Taurus in the sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements of your chart, uh, during the entire Taurus season, you will get 50% off of, of tarot card readings 2, 3, and 4. I have five tarot card readings listed in the box below. Check them out. Um, you do get to uh, partake in the 50% off if you have Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, Taurus Rising, or Venus and Taurus all throughout Taurus season. All right, Scorpio. Um, this may not resonate with every Scorpio. Please keep that in mind. This is a general read. Okay, take what resonates, leave the rest. Please keep that in mind. Switch the roles uh, as need be, especially if you're a cross watcher, you may need to switch the roles. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, let's get into Saturn. Saturn is all about restrictions. It's all about structure. It's all about government. It's all about authority. Okay. Um, discipline, rules, routine. Uh, and what we're seeing right now with, with Saturn in Aquarius is, well, let's talk about Aquarius first so you have an understanding of what I'm about to explain. So Saturn, we talked about that. So the rule, well, the house that it's in is Aquarius. Aquarius rules the house of like-minded people. So this would be, um, for example, I, I categorize it into like three different groups of like-minded people. This is people getting together for one common cause. So it could be in a professional environment where you have your work environment, where everybody is there for the purpose of one goal for this company to um, sustain itself and survive. Then you have more of a, you know, um, a organization, more of a charitable, humanitarian type group. Um, and this may be a group that you participate where you volunteer. You may have established this group. Um, or you may donate to this group in some way. Um, it could be, um, you know, something like St. Jude's where you may participate on, um, you know, you may be on staff, you may volunteer, you may donate. Um, or it could be something like you participating on a chess team or you are a 33 degree mason. Something like that. And you could be, you know, it could be like a society, whatever you call yourself, an organization, clubs, groups. Things like that. And then you have your social aspect, which is um, like your friends or organizations that it, you get into to hang out with like-minded people. Okay? So, but this is what the House of Aquarius usually is about. Um, so when we look at Saturn there, we look at the structure. So in real life, what we're looking at now on a macro level, as far as globally, we see that the government is... Um, telling us, you know, we can't congregate with more than a certain amount of people in a certain environment. We have to wear masks, things like that. Um, now, Saturn is going to go in retrograde. And whenever Saturn goes in retrograde, Saturn is basically testing you to see if old, outdated routines or patterns or structures that you had established for yourself that you are no longer using. Um, Saturn tests you by putting you back in an environment or putting you back around an element via person, place, or thing that will reintroduce those old, outdated routines and patterns to your life to see if you've outgrown them. Saturn is father time. So when you look at Saturn in reference to Saturn retrograde, Saturn is, okay, well, when I was in, the te when I was in my teens, I used to hang out at the mall all day long with my friends. You know, we would, we would chill there and that's what we would do. Well, now as an adult, you know, I don't even care to go to the mall. If I go to the mall now, it's like, okay, what am I going for? What store is in what mall so I know where to go? What, where's the parking spots near that store so I can get in and out? Like, I'm just not a shopper anymore like I used to be. You know, I used to work in the mall when I was a teenager. I used to love the mall. You couldn't keep me away from the damn mall. But, you know, for me personally, I outgrew that because that's what I did when I was younger. 
Now, you know, I have a whole different um, mindset. I'm a little bit wiser. I look at things a little differently because time changed me, right? So now if you were to, you know, if I was to get with someone and they were like, come on, let's go to the mall. I'm just like, oh, shit. You know, I'm going to have to ask them, well, what do you want to get? What store do you need to go to? And if they're like, oh, I don't know. I just want to hang out at the mall. I'm like, oh, my God. I know I'd have to put on my shoe, my, you know, my wa my working shoes, not my working shoes, but my walking shoes, because you never know how long you're going to be there. And I would get annoyed. Like if I'm at the mall more than three hours, like even two hours, it's like, why am I here this long? I get annoyed. I get frustrated. The people who are with me would be like, oh, we shouldn't have brought you. Like, yeah, you shouldn't have. So I'm going to take off. Call me when you get out the mall. You know, that type of thing. So that can happen in any aspect of life. It's just certain things you outgrown you don't do anymore. So now if someone came back in my life and was like, let's go to the mall and hang out for two hours, I would get pissed off. All right. <laughs> so my and so Saturn also deals with your reputation, your status, um, how people know you or what people know you as. Um, it deals with your career, you know, your reputation and your career. And it deals with um, your popularity. So, you know, I would probably be pretty unpopular if I was going to go with some younger cousins to the mall because they want to hang out, you know, all day in the mall. <laughs> and opposed to me saying, nah, I'm going to be here for about an hour. I'm going to go to the stores I want to go to. And then when I'm done, I'm out. You know, I would be unpopular to them. So it's going to affect your reputation in some way, shape or form. But because Aquarius is in your fourth house, it's going to have to do with family, your your family roots, your structure, um, also your relationship with your mother. Um, this is also has to do with um, your home as far as the home you had in your childhood, your past, you know, your past home, your present home, and, and then, you, you know, what you um, want in the future for your future home. Um, your home not only deals with the physical um, building that you live in or the structure that you grew up with, um, it talks about the relationships with your mother and your family within your home, the things that go on privately in your home that no one knows about. So um, it also talks about your physical home, yourself, your soul, your spirit. So Saturn, so recently you may have changed a pattern or habit that you find that is no longer useful, all right, a routine that you had in reference to that area of your life. And so Saturn is going to bring that back to you and question you and challenge you about it. Um, and then when you find out what it is, it'll be because you, <laughs> you've you gone back and done something that you found no longer useful. You tried to do it again, and it's just not working. So this is going to be interesting to see what this is about, Scorpio, for you. Because I was sitting here when I was shuffling, trying to get some idea of what it could be. It may be an old, dated, out version um, way that you communicate with family members or how you looked at family. Maybe you don't look at family the same way anymore, the family structure. Maybe your home, you know, maybe you're someone who's used to moving around and maybe now you don't want to move anymore as much. Um, the type of home that you have, you know, the type of home that you look for or the way you decorate your home. I'm, I'm not sure, but we're going to see. These, these cards may give me some insight into it. All right, so let's see what's up. I didn't want to talk you to death about it, but I wanted to give you an understanding. This could also talk to you about your ancestors, too, you know, the connection, because it's all about family roots, your heritage, you know, your, things that were passed on from family to family, generation to generation. It talks about that, too, in this house, okay? So... We'll see, Scorpio. And this is also has something to do with your reputation. So this will really see. This could be your reputation with your family. We'll see. All right. So current energy for this spread is the Seven of Swords in reverse. This energy is Gemini energy. Okay. I'm sorry, Aquarius energy because we're in the house of Aquarius. So this is about thoughts, ideas, and views in reference to routines, patterns, um, things that you, you you would do regularly, like a regular scheduled thing that you would do, okay? When the sevens are in reverse, um, this talks to me about like making amends, so to speak. So this could talk to you about making amends with a family member or making amends with um, friends, okay? Or someone wanting to make amends with you. But let's see. Uh, 
Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, this is um, Gemini energy. We have the Four of Swords. This is um, Libra energy. We have the Eight of Swords reverse, which is Gemini energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, which is um, Capricorn energy. We have the Ace of Cups, which is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. We also have the Two of Cups in reverse, which is Cancer energy. Okay, so this deals, Cancer deals with the home, of course, right? The fourth uh, house in the chart. For you, it's your fourth, your fourth house has to do with, um, is where Aquarius is. So, with the Knight of Swords energy here, and then the Four of Swords. The Knight of Swords talks to me about, this is, um, let's see, so journey communication this is someone who's coming towards you could be someone coming towards you with some communication this communication could be very blunt it could be very direct it may not always be what it is you know that you want to hear or how you want to hear it it could be kind of um hurtful just the way it's delivered um and then we have the four of swords here down below which represents because that's what it's clarifying the four of swords is clarifying this this four of swords is clarifying because this has to do with home as well. The Four of Swords, home, stress. Um, I'm not, I'm sorry, not stress, but at ease, peace of mind. Okay? Um, relaxing, recovering, recuperating. This could also be dreams as well. And then we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Swords talks about um, getting clarity on something. It also talks about realizing that you were the one who wasn't seeing what the issue was okay um someone could have been pulling the wool over your eyes it could have been the communication that they've been giving you it, you know you could have felt as if someone was not telling you the truth okay we have that clarified with the queen of pentacles in reverse this energy could represent someone who is a mother doesn't necessarily have to be, but this is somebody who could be very jealous, very envious. Someone who is all about money. A greedy person. Okay, someone who's financially dependent. The Ace of Cups talks about love, a brand new love opportunity. It could be self-love as well. And we have that clarified with the Two of Cups in reverse. This is some not having an interest. Or fights and arguments. This could talk about someone not wanting to change themselves, like or, or wanting a change, wanting a change of environment, a home. All right, so somebody may want to move, somebody want, want, may want to relocate, okay, and they may not be letting people know they're interested in relocating because they realize that. Perhaps with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse that, you know, they're just not happy here for whatever reason. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse could represent or maybe that's just that they're, they're around people who are financially greedy or all they see is money. All they talk about is money. Um, or maybe you're trying to move away from being financially dependent. For some of you, you could be trying to move away from being financially dependent on your mother is what I'm getting here. And so with the Ace of Cups, this represents love of some sort. And then the Two of Cups represents, okay, so for some of you, you may want to move away. You may be someone who's married to someone and you're not happy in this relationship and you're looking to move. You're looking to move out of this home. You're looking to move away because you want to focus on self-love. You no longer want to be in this relationship or this connection. Um, some of you may have children by this person. It doesn't necessarily mean you're married to them, but you could be. Some of you could have children by this person. doesn't mean that you have to be, but this is your current situation. You're ready to move away from this person. You're ready to move out of this relationship because this person was caught doing something in some way, shape, or fashion. Okay, There was arguments that ensued. 
okay, which made you decide that you want to move. You got clarity on the behavior. Perhaps someone has someone pregnant. Perhaps the person you were dealing with has someone else pregnant. And so as a result, you know, you want to move away. With the Seven of Swords, we have the um, the Nine of Swords. We have the Five of Pentacles reversed, the Five of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. So yeah, someone caught someone out here doing something or somebody wants to apologize about something um, because it's stressing them out. It's been on their mind constantly. It's a lot of aggravation and frustration. Somebody wants peace of mind here. This is why they want to move. They want peace of mind. Okay, with the five of pentacles in reverse, someone wants to come back. So you may have moved away from someone or someone moved away from you. This is somebody who may have lived with you. Okay, and they may be trying to come back. But with this five of wands energy here, this could just be a whole lot of stress, aggravation and drama with this person who may be trying to come back to you. Um, and with the seven of pentacles here, um, this is telling me that you're focused on... hmm. Hold on. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Your financial situation is getting better. Because some of you with this Five of Pentacles in reverse, this could represent the fact that you found out about something. With the Nine of Swords, um, this is you um, stressed out about a situation, very anxious about something that you found out about. And so as a result, you, um, you, wanna, you want to leave. Someone wants to come back. I'm thinking some, hmm, this is interesting, Scorpio. Five of Pentacles in reverse represents someone coming out of the cold. Someone that you weren't talking to or you weren't communicating with. They could have been stressed because they got caught out there. So your person may have, maybe stressed, got caught out there. Maybe they want to come back. They left. They want to come back now. Okay. They left probably went back to um, someone they were dealing with. Maybe um, they had a, a baby by this person and they went back to them or they went back to this person from the past and had a child with this person and moved in with this person and lived with this person. Um, maybe this person now um, is wanting them to move or maybe, you know, they got caught doing something and they stressed this person out so this person put them out. There was a lot of fighting and arguing between them and this person, but this person doesn't have the finances they need to move. Which is why this person could be coming back to you, Scorpio. Because they were with you first. Interesting. 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 Let's see what else we got here. And then we'll um, pull another spread. So, yeah, this is about home. Okay. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, we have the, um, the Page of Pentacles in reverse. The Ten of Cups reversed. The Three of um, Pentacles reversed. Then we have the Justice Energy, Major Arcana. And then we have the Hangman, Major Arcana. But the Hangman's in reverse. So with the uh, Knave of Pentacles, this tells me there's trouble in the home. That's, that's why this person left. Okay? Could have been some trouble with children or some something going on with children. But there was some type of trouble in the home with this person that they were with. Okay? And so with the... Um, so they ended up leaving this person. They ended up moving out. Okay. It could have been because of a third party situation with the three of pentacles in reverse. Or because this person, maybe they didn't have any money. They didn't have a job. Okay. And this person moved out because they felt like, you know, they weren't being treated fairly or being treated justly. Or, you know, there was some dishonesty that was involved here. Okay. With the justice energy. And then with the hangman in reverse... This person could be looked at as a traitor. They could be looked at as a, they could be feeling like a victim. Um, this person could be ready to take action right now. They could realize that they didn't see something. But we got the Ace of Swords here. There's some truth coming. That's for sure. And then we have the Page of Swords. So somebody is going to, somebody could be watching you or could be interested in communicating with you. Let's see what else we got, Scorpio. So for some of you, this is somebody you used to live with. This is a, um, for some of you, this is a romantic situation or it could be a family member. Someone you used to live with or someone who used to live with you, they ended up leaving to go move somewhere else. 
things didn't work out where they were and now they may need to come back to you so saturn in this sense is saying okay are you going to be quick to let somebody move in with you is what i'm getting because they're coming back what else do we got Scorpio. now again this is not resonating it may not resonate with every scorpio but um take what resonates leave the rest so the overall energy for this spread that's coming up here is the uh, Four of Pentacles in reverse. Now, the Four of Pentacles is uh, Capricorn energy, okay? The Four of Pentacles in reverse, this, hmm, okay. What I'm getting instinctively and intuitively is that this person is hoping that you're open. They're hoping that you're going to be open. You're going to open your arms. You're going to open your home back up to them. Okay, with this four of pentacles in reverse energy. This energy is an energy of someone who is not guarded. Okay, this is an energy of someone who is very giving, you know, because the pentacles represent money. So this is someone who's very giving, someone who will give you something if you need it. If they see that you need it, they will help you. They won't hold back. They won't be miserly because in, in the upright, this is someone who protects themselves. They protect their emotions. They protect their feelings. They protect their money. They hide their money. They hide their, you know what I'm saying? They hide their self. They're not easy to open up. This person won't open up easy. This person will. So what I'm getting is this person may think, oh, okay, well, I'm going to go back to Scorpio because Scorpio will let me in. Scorpio, you know, they look at, they could be looking at you like you're a sucker too. OK, and with Saturn retrograde, that could very well be what it was, because when they left you, you helped them out and then they left you. They turned their back on you. And they didn't say much is what I was getting with all that sore energy. They left you stressed and aggravated because they didn't say anything to you. They left. OK, for some of them, they just took advantage of you and then left and went back to be with someone else. And now they're going to come back. Because see, here's this devil energy in reverse as the current situation here. I'm sorry, here's the, the wheel as the current situation in reverse. So bad luck, drama, aggravation. Here's their situation. We have that clarified. Well, not clarified, but the challenge is the seven of pentacles in reverse. The challenge is, is somebody somebody who wants something for nothing. So this person here, the current situation represents this person. This person is bad luck. They don't have any money. They don't have any luck. They have nothing. The challenge is, is they want something for nothing with the seven of pentacles. They want instant, instant, instant. They don't want to put no work into a relationship. They don't want to put no work into a friendship. They want to move right away. Your spirit guides, your guardian angels, your ancestors are um, warning you or asking you to consider or embody the six of pentacles. I'm sorry, the six of wands in reverse energy. Where your head is at is the three of swords energy here, which is um, the six of wands and reverses Leo energy. The three of swords energy is uh, Libra energy. The outcome here is the nine of pentacles. OK, that's Virgo energy. So what I'm getting from this Scorpio here is that this person is um, down on their luck. OK, so based on the last spread that we did, this was somebody who um, came in. Because we have the knight of we have the knight of swords and then underneath the four of swords. So this is somebody who came in, wasn't completely honest with you, journeyed to you, came to you, um, and moved in with you with the four of swords energy. Then we had the um, what was it? The seven, not the seven of swords. That was the overall energy. We had the what was it? Oh, I forget what it was. But then we had the the queen of pentacles in reverse below. So that was telling me that this person. You allowed this person to move in. This person used you, okay? Because the Queen of Pentacles in reverse usually, especially when she's with the Four of Swords, um, there's usually somebody who moves into their home, and this person is not appreciative of them. Not appreciative of them. They take advantage of this person, all right? And then we have the Ace of Cups here, okay? And then underneath that, we have the Two of Cups in reverse. So this person, they met someone new and left you to be with someone new and just and just left. So that new shit didn't work out. All right. So here they come. Financially ruined. No money. Down on their luck with the wheel in reverse. Major arcana. See karma bit them in the ass for doing you the way they did you. The challenge is, is the seven of pentacles in reverse. See the challenge is, is this person has nothing to offer. Nothing to give. And on top of that, they probably want, they want something from nothing from you. Okay, the seven of pentacles talks about wanting something for nothing. 
the universe is saying, look, Scorpio, you're not going to win with this person. This person is probably still seeing other people. This person likes negative attention. OK, so this person is not coming to you in the upright. This is somebody who probably is seeing other people, but they're seeing them for their own personal reasons. Whatever they get out of this person is what they do. This person is not coming to you saying, OK, you know, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. This person is coming to you trying to take from you because they think you're a sucker. They think you're going to go for it again. Where your head is at is the three of swords here. So your head is remembering, okay, you left me for someone else or you had me in a situation where you were dealing with me and you were dealing with someone else, but you weren't being honest with me about the situation. So the outcome here is the nine of pentacles. And it could be that, you know, you're doing okay now financially by yourself and independently. And this person now wants to come back to you. Now, because we have the page of swords. So this person is watching you for a lot of you. They see what's going on with you. They see you're doing okay because we have the four of pentacles in reverse. This is them looking at you like, hmm, let me see if I can get over there with them. Because you know this COVID-19 thing, a lot of people are out of work. A lot of people are suffering financially. So you're going to have a lot of people who are trying to hustle, and hustle other people, you know, just for a, a three hots and a cot, so to speak. All right. And then we have the six of swords in reverse. Yeah, see, this person feels stuck where they are right now. Okay. We have the um, the Knight of Cups in reverse. This is someone who's moody emotionally. One minute they feel this way about someone, the next minute they don't. You know, they'll pretend that they love you to get what they need from you. And then once they get it, then if they get bored with you and something new pops up, they're going to go do that. Okay, this is energy you have to watch out for. And this is someone who's unapologetic about being that way. They don't give a shit. They're out for their own selfish reasons. And then we have judgment in reverse here. This person is morally corrupt, okay? Um, meaning that, like I said, they do whatever they need to do to get whatever they want to get. They don't care about anybody but what they can get. They probably left you because you, and also with the queen of pentacles in reverse, they may have left you because you didn't have enough or you weren't giving them enough financially, like in the 3D realm. Because if it was the queen, see, and, and I say that specifically because it was the queen of pentacles in reverse, OK, now, if it was the queen of cups in reverse, then it was like, OK, then this person may have left you mentally unstable. If it was the queen of swords, I would say this person, you know, um, left and wasn't truthful and honest with you or you were in denial about it. If it was the queen of wands, I would say this person just wanted to use you just for sex only. But see, with the queen of pentacles, that's about money. So this person was using you for money and see, as a result. You didn't have enough or you couldn't give them what they wanted. So they stayed as long as they wanted to. And as soon as something else came about, they ended up leaving you. And we have the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Cups in reverse. So yeah, this person is just going to leave again and come back. This is somebody you may have dealt with and they may have left and come back before with the Eight of Cups in reverse. All right. So yeah, they're definitely coming back. We got two cards and a couple cards indicating that they are coming back. So Saturn is going to say to you, Scorpio, are you going to just be nice and be kind and be loving? Because you know you are a very nice, kind, loving individual. You do pretty much anything for anyone that you care for, right? You did this to you did this for this person because you had love for this person. But this person took that for granted. They specifically took it for granted. So now we have the two of pentacles energy here. We have the strength card in reverse. We have the five of wands. We have the nine of cups reverse. And we have the three of wands. So this is telling me here with this two of pentacles here, this person doesn't have a whole lot of money. They're trying to juggle their finances with the strength in reverse here. This is telling me here um, with Leo energy in reverse that this person. Um, hmm. How can I? OK, with the five of wands, which is uh, more Leo energy. So drama, stress, aggravate. This is someone who's very jealous. They're a very jealous, envious individual, self-centered they have, um, they're very weak emotionally, okay? This is someone who could be very uh, abusive as well, you know, physically abusive. Because with the strength card and the five of wands, this is someone who could fight, who would fight you or, or physically harm you, is what I'm getting here, to try to control you. Then we have the nine of cups in reverse here. This is someone who is just, you know, it's all about the pleasure as well. So they're going to try to, you know, come at you, yeah, this person is just, they, they're all about what they can get from you with this nine of, nine of Cups in Reverse. Nine of Cups in Reverse talks about someone who indulges 
just for the pleasures. Okay, so this could be sexual pleasures, things like that. And then they're going to be off again with the three of wands looking for their next conquest. So you're just a temporary, they come around to you, you're just going to be a temporary shelter to them. And once they um, find somebody else more suited, they're going to end up leaving you. So we'll do three more and then we'll go to the extent that we're going to clarify this and see what how this person's going to come to you and what's going on with them. And then we'll get you some advice as to how you can set yourself up to keep yourself from being taken advantage of again by this person. So we have the high priestess energy, major arcana energy, moon energy. We have the two of cups in reverse. We have the seven of swords showing up upright this time. This person is up to it again. Okay, we have the death card, major arcana in reverse, your energy, Scorpio, about time you stepped up to the plate. And then we have the uh, chariot in reverse energy. Uh-huh, yeah, this is what's up. So we got three major arcana of the five cards pulled here. So this is high priestess energy. This is you using your intuition in a situation saying, okay, I sense something is up. Okay, because you could probably feel this person's energy. Okay, you can probably feel it. So then we have the two of cups in reverse, like, yeah, this person is really not interested in me. They're interested in whatever they can steal from me with the seven of swords energy. This person is not interested in me with the two of cups in reverse. They have no interest in me. What they're interested in is whatever they can get from me. But you know what? I'm going in that before that comes with the death card here, because you don't even feel the same way about this person anymore. With the death card, not only does it um, change a situation, what it does is it changes your way of looking at things so that, you know what, I know better now, so I can't go back to that. There's no way I can go back to that. And then we have the chariot in reverse here. This is just you not moving forward with this person. Like, no, you're not moving in. No, we're not moving forward. No, I'm good. We ended this. It's dead. All right? So that's good that this came out because I'm getting that this is what your energy is going to be. And so, yeah, we're going to go to the extended and we're going to get into this and dig in and we're going to find out exactly what's up with this person how they're coming, Let's try to see when they're coming. It's going to be during Saturn retrograde. Saturn retrograde started May um, uh, 13th, and it's going to go until September. So this person could come back anytime now between now and the summer. Okay, and it could be somebody else who may come to you. It could be a family member. Oh, I need a place to stay. Blah, 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 blah. But this could be a family member who, you know, will turn around and shit on you as well. So you got to be careful, Scorpio. We're going to um, examine that in the um, extended, and um, we're going to go from there. So if this resonated, please click the like button, share, subscribe. If you know somebody who could use this, share this with them. Um, the a link to the Patreon membership is going to be in the box below. It's only five bucks a month. You get to see all of the uh, unlimited access to all the videos, all the extendeds I did for the Pluto retrograde, the Saturn retrograde, the Mercury retrograde, the um, Jupiter retrograde, which I'm going to be finishing up by the end of the week. Because um, these are all the retrogrades that are going to be going on this summer. And each retrograde for each sign talks about which area of the chart that um, those retrogrades are going to be in. So you understand what energies are going to happen in that house so that you can prepare yourself so that, you know, you're not like lost in the sauce, so to speak, and get caught up into situations that could really bring a lot of trauma and stress into your life. All right. We already dealing with COVID-19. 